Welcome to Hatley Motorsport. Today, we're back checking the car before we get it downloaded. And today, we're focusing on steering and suspension. So I got asked a question the other day about where to get a rule book if you, you don't have one. Um, you can download it on the AWSR website. I'll put a link in the description down at the bottom so you can go and download that if you need to. But today we're going to check out the steering and suspension. So here goes nothing. First up, pitman arm. You need to have your pitman arm lock wide and you need to have a, this has got a retaining bolt and washer to stop it coming off the end if the bolt comes loose. Now, as we go down to the front of the car, you also need a retaining strap on your drag link. Pretty, pretty simple, just wrap around your chassis. Uh, mine's got a little tag on it. A lot of guys will put a couple of cable ties on it there to hold it. Um, yeah, that's all. You'd need to have one of those on the car. And while we're down the front, we've got a magnet here somewhere. They're going to check, the, the scrutineers are going to check that your, your uh, rod ends and all the bolts retaining the rod ends are steel. You're not allowed to have aluminium or titanium. Um, they're going to grab a magnet and make sure that they stick to all your joints. Um, so just go and double check. There's no aluminium or titanium allowed with your uh, your steering bolts and, and right ends. So just make sure that you've got all them that are steel. So you also need to make sure that all the steering joints have got lock nuts on them. Um, and that the steering arms are lock wide on. So they can't come loose. These do have a habit. You probably pay just to check them occasionally. Um, they do have a habit of coming loose, especially the combo arm the other side. So just make sure that they're tight. But yeah, they do need to be lock wide. Now mine hasn't got these on them at the minute because I'm putting new ones on. But you need to make sure that the front of your car has torsion bar retainers. Which that's how they go, obviously you do them up tight. Um, there's a couple of different versions. This one's the basic version. There is another new one that's got a like a clamp set up in the end. Uh, it's a bit smaller than these, makes them a little bit easier to get on and off. You need to make sure you've got them on there. They're just there to retain the torsion stops if they happen to come loose, like that one, so they can't drop off the end. And the arms, so they can't drop off the end. Um, because if that happens, you're going to have uh, things are going to turn bad real fast, and you don't want that. Uh, so, yeah, you just need to double check that you've got torsion bar retainers on the front of your car. Um, you don't need them on the back, you don't need them on the front. Speaking of the back, though. So on your bird cages on the lower bolts, as you can see here, you need to have them either safety wide or retain that lower bolt. So normally that lower bolt goes in there, obviously with that arm in there, you just saw me pull that off. That needs to either be have a hole drill in it and be safety wide, or like a lot of them have, and mine does. I think I'd make that make it easier. You've got a little safety retaining screw in them. Um, you need to make sure that's fitted. Obviously that's done up and tight. So that's just a retaining screw there. So yeah, you, so that's just to prevent that from undoing. Um, you need to make sure that they're fitted. They will they will mock you for that if you don't have that on there. Um, yeah, so that's it on the rear suspension. Simple, eh? So that's all we've really got today. Uh, just double check your suspension, double check your steering, make sure your joints are in good nick. Obviously make sure the front ones are steel. Make sure everything's safety wide and lock wide and got lock nuts on them and you should be good to run there. So that's nearly the last video that we'll be making in this series. I've got one more to go which will be just checking out your safety gear. Uh, we'll, we'll dig that out and I might do that later on this afternoon. If you've got any questions please don't hesitate to ask the Victorian Wingless Sprint page or me. I'll see what I can come up with an answer for you. Download the rule book if you haven't already. That'll give you all the finer details about all these rules to make sure that you're right and up to scratch. Uh, looks like they're going to be lifting some restrictions in Victoria, so hopefully we're going to get back racing soon, and that will be wonderful. We'll see you then.